Hello there, all folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of raw news and analysis. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round. Today is the day we've all been waiting for. The day when Meghan Markle might finally have to face the music in court. It's a glorious day indeed, my friends, and it could potentially lead to a trial next July. Now, that would be a sign to behold. A real chef's kiss moment. But stop right there before we disclose all the details. Subscribe and hit the all-important bell icon. Now, so here we are, the Marley vs. Markle motion hearing scheduled for 1.30 or 12.30 my time in good old central United States. You see, courts hold these hearings to test the party's arguments, and it's where the judge decides who's in the right. And let me clarify, for all those deluded Meghan supporters out there who seem to be living in fantasy land, yes, Meghan does have to be there. That's the point of the hearing. She filed a motion to do oral arguments over Zoom, so yes, she absolutely has to be in Tampa Bay today. Now, what's at stake here is a defamation suit against a girl called... Samantha Marley. Samantha claims that call girl defamed her by telling Oprah that she grew up as an only child. If the judge decides to let this go, Meghan Markle could be forced to hand over her texts, emails and other private messages. Imagine the skeletons that could come out of the closet. But let's shift our attention for a moment to Denise Walsh, an old lady who should be worrying about her grandkids instead of poking her nose into matters of the royal family. This woman has the audacity to back Meghan and Harry spewing nonsense, right? Because getting ticked by a manipulative woman who flirts with other men in front of her husband is truly the epitome of a healthy relationship. And let's not forget Harry's brilliant memoir where he shared the riveting story of rubbing cream on himself while thinking about his mother. Now that's some high quality literature. Finally, we have the so-called experts chiming in stating the obvious fact that Meghan and Harry always seem to pull their stunts on the same day. Well, what a revelation. It's almost as if they're deliberately trying to steal the spotlight. But hey, it took the role experts this long to catch on. I suppose we should commend them. Now, before I sign off, I'd love to get your thoughts. What do you think about the news? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time for more raw news and analysis.